Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here on Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi to come and visit SeaWorld. So this park opened last year in 2023 and is home to two roller coasters including the one behind us, Manta. Manta looks really good from what I've seen so I'm excited to ride it as an Intamin launch coaster and of course that's going to be coming up in the vlog. Along with that you got all the different animal experiences here, some other unique attractions and family rides and what we're really looking forward to is just seeing all the theming in here because we've got a lot of screens and projections it looks wonderful doesn't it it looks stunning inside so i can't wait to see it in person we just like to say thank you to sea world for providing us with our mission today should we go and get inside let's go let's go and check it out and straight away something i love about the parks over here they're all free parking which is brilliant yeah i'm a big fan of that and yeah of course we're here on yaz island there's a look over at ferrari world we was there yesterday we actually walked over that iconic roof and there's a look at formula rotter as well the world's fastest coaster that we experienced and yeah, the entrance is just over here on the left. Another great view of Manta. We'll come outside later on and get some footage all down here showing you Manta. Because yeah, it looks like there's a pathway all the way around here. You've got the Yaz SeaWorld Research and Rescue Center. And yeah, it's a huge part, of course, of what SeaWorld do. And the entrance is here. Yeah, it's all indoors other than the exterior sections of Manta. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing this. Just come through the security area and stepped inside. Look at this. Already you get an idea on the scale of this place. Yeah, head up the escalator just here, all the rocks, the nice water features and landscaping. Yeah, this is gonna be massive. When you pull up to the building, it looks huge. Well, the entrance itself is very impressive. You come up both of the escalators there, you've got all the waterfalls, the rock work. I like how all the ceiling is themed in as well. Yeah, it's very nice around here. All the palm trees. Welcome to your one ocean and adventure. Straight away, you actually feel like you're outside with all these buildings. The fact you've got the blue sky all around. It's got a massive entrance area. Yeah, all that space, you just come up. Then leads up into this big open entrance plaza just over here. You've got the boats, all the palm trees. Look at all the walls. It's hard to tell what's real and what's not. Very impressive. Can't get over the scale of this entrance. We've got our tickets over here. Our wall is tickets. Hey, I'm ready to go in through the turnstiles. This place is massive. Oh, it's always so exciting visiting a park for the first time, especially one that's less than a year old. Here's a look at the map. And yeah, you've got all the different oceans from around the world and you've got the center area which is known as one ocean because all the oceans connect together oh that's nice isn't it okay. good kind of meaning behind it all and yeah they've done an amazing job with this as soon as we walk in lots of different animal exhibits to see it's all the music and the lighting yeah it's very well themed and i'm really excited for Manta, so we're gonna head down there and have a morning ride, because then we're gonna be able to see how it compares with the ride later on in the day. So I think it's gonna warm up a lot. So that tends to be the case with Intamin LSM coasters. And it looks like we start by going through the one ocean area by coming to the left-hand side here. Straight away, the size of these tanks. Amazing, and very well designed. Look at this. Wow, look at this. As soon as you turn around the corner, the room opens up into this massive kind of hub area for the park. All the different entrances around the side lead to the different oceans. And this huge screen. This is one ocean. And this is incredible, the scale of this room. This is beautiful, all the media around the side. This is incredible. What do you think to this? This is so lovely. You can't, you can't get the scale of how big this room is. It is massive. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like all the rocks, all the screens. Very impressive. I've never seen anything quite like this before in here. This huge 
central area. It is so well done. Countless generations of sea turtles return to the exact beach where they hatched to lay their eggs. What a themed experience. Their epic journeys across the ocean. So from looking on the map, it seems that Manta is in the tropical ocean. So yeah, we'll head down this way. We've got so much to walk around and see, which is going to be wonderful. I had no idea that that central hub was going to be on that grand of a scale. I'd seen photos and videos of it, but I had no idea until we walked in there just how big it was going to be. I actually feel like I'm outside. I think they've captured that really well. Sometimes these indoor parks, especially at IMG Worlds of Adventure down in Dubai, yeah, you kind of do miss the sunshine. Whereas with this, you've got like the big windows round at the side too. Yeah. It's a lovely area. Oh wow, look at these flamingos. So even just walking down here to Manta, we've been through some incredible areas and all of those are gonna be coming up later on in the vlog. Look at these just here, wow. cleaning the glass. Look at the size of some of these tanks. Like this is incredible, isn't it? to look at really really nice and we got so much that we're going to be taking you along for here's a look then at the entrance to manta so yeah this is the signature ride that they've got here opened with the park last year intamin lsm launch coaster with four inversions and a top speed of just over 48 miles an hour we do love a good intamin launch don't we charlotte really looking forward to this one i reckon it will warm up throughout the day but i thought let's get on it nice and early park opened at 10 and closes at 6. So yeah we'll do it later on and see how it compares Lots of nice theming here in the queue line. Audio is good too. And yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the queue line from Mako. At SeaWorld Orlando, with all the shipwrecks down here. Bit of a rolling pre-show whilst you're waiting. We make our way upstairs to ride the coaster. And here we are then down in the station area. Yeah, very nice, all the lighting. We're not going to be able to film on ride, unfortunately, but we will get a lot of off-ride footage from the area out the front of the park and show you it in action. It's Manta. day with two back-to-back -back rides there on Manta firstly on the front and our second ride was on the back that coaster is incredible isn't it I love that you don't realize how long that coaster is it just kept giving and giving that was brilliant all the launches the inversions and the fact it kind of felt like a terrain coaster in a way because they built up all the rocks around it the tunnels oh the whole package on that was phenomenal it really was and yeah I can't wait to ride it later on I thought it might feel quite slow with it not being like 50 miles an hour um, but no like you really felt the 
the speed go throughout that coaster. And it kind of reminded me in a really weird way of like a mini Maverick from Cedar Point. Low to the ground, lots of twists, lots of turns, some great moments of airtime as well. And it was surprisingly intense. Intamin are our favorite manufacturer. They build some of the best coasters in the world. They get the train design right, and the seats on there are so comfortable. The restraints are great and quite giving as well. Oh, there's the layout of that. It kept going and going. Brilliant coaster. One of my favorite coasters in the UAE. Could possibly be my favorite coaster in this country. And it could be a top 10 coaster, you know that. I just thought that was <laughs> excellent. It was so comfortable. The airtime on there was brilliant. What a great ride. Something that wasn't great was the operations. You might be thinking, oh, it's not very busy. Well, actually, quite a large school group um, came in there to the ride. And uh, it built up quite a bit of a queue. So we did get to see the operations. And the first train actually took 20 minutes to dispatch, mainly because, um, because of some of the guests visiting here needing to cover up and um, to ride the attraction. Um, they have to wear like a, a cloak and they've got like a changing room built onto the station area. That could do with being a little bit earlier because it was slowing down the operation because they've kind of, when they take the cloaks off after, they've got to pass them back um, to the other side and that really slows it down. Also along with that as well, the operator was kind of, you know, talking over the tannoy system so people couldn't really understand what to do. Uh, so that did take away from it a little bit, but the coaster itself was incredible, wasn't the it? The coaster was brilliant. I look forward to getting back on there later. Oh, 100%. And yeah, the back row was even better than the front. I mean, front's great for the views, and you kind of start off going through seeing a real aquarium at the start, uh, and then launch it out. Oh, a brilliant ride that was. Really exceeded my expectations. And when we were saying this park's massive, and we walked past lots on the way down to Manta, here's a look at one of the huge open rooms. Oh, look at the theming in here, all the landscaping, and the beautiful pink flamingos just down here. Wow, yeah, we'll come back down here and have a bit of an explore around later on. So I think this is the area where some of the presentations are. One ocean is amazing in here. This big hub area, and it's nice and easy to navigate the park with all these different areas. There's so much to see, lots to explore. I just can't get over how good Manta was. Excellent ride. And we're heading down into Micro Ocean. Let's go and check out the other ride area and see what we've got down here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks beautiful. Yeah, I think having this central hub is a really good idea, like connecting the oceans together. It's got a nice meaning behind it as well. Oh, look at this. This theming. This is quite something. The octopus themed rocking tub. You can buy the octopus hat. Oh, it's brilliant. Octa Zoom, that's cool. This is lovely in here. It kind of reminds me of one of the areas that Tokyo Disney Sea in here. Like that little mermaid section of Disney Sea. Another flat ride off to the right hand side. When it comes to an indoor theme park experience, we're talking like next level stuff here. This is great. And that's Turtle Twist. Jelly Plunge, your jellyfish themed towers just over here. And you've got Eel Racer, which is the roller coaster. And yeah, it has got the little board out the front at the moment saying it's closed, so hopefully it'll be back home later on. Yeah, this is a Zamperla family coaster that runs around this area. It looks great, so hopefully that will be open later. Yeah, it's got a board out the front at the moment. That looks good. Love all the colours in here and all the lighting. This is fantastic. We have just asked about the roller coaster and it's closed for a one month refurbishment, which is a shame. So yeah, we're not going to be riding that one today. Oh, that would have been really good going around the whole area. Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's only a family coaster and the main event was Manda, so I'm glad that we got that. But yeah, it kind of runs all around the edge. So yeah, it means just the one coaster ride here for us today, but it's a fantastic one. I know that we'll be getting plenty of rides on it. All the netting, the climbing. Yeah, from walking
walking around the park, this is my favourite area that we've seen so far. Lots of rides packed in, lots of great theming, quite a lot of interactives. And coming to a SeaWorld park like this, it's educational as well. This looks like a potential expansion plot for me here, where they could maybe put another ride if they wanted to. Obviously for now, you've got the interactive just down here. <laughs> That's cool. Huge play area. Just the height of this building. Like, it's gotta be like, what, 120, 130 foot tall or something in this building, I guess. Amazing place. <laughs> yeah, normally that construction wall wouldn't be up around there. Yeah, shame about the coaster. But we got the main events and it was amazing. It really exceeded expectations. I didn't think I'd be riding a potential top 10 coaster today. I'm sure we'll be going back into that area later on and doing some of the flat rides. We just want to make sure we get everything in because there's so much here to cover. It really is. It's coming back through this central area. I could sit in one ocean all day. It's just so calming and relaxing, but also entertaining because there's so much going on to see on all the media around. And there's another ride here that we're really looking forward to. It's unlike anything we've experienced before. So we're gonna go and check that out now. Another amazing room to look around later on. And yeah, we're making our way into Hypersphere 360. This looks awesome, it really does. So yeah, let's go and see what this is like. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film it or not. Probably not. However, when I was researching this ride a while back, I have found some like promotional footage that I'll be able to put in and show you. And also it's freezing in this section just here because we're in the Arctic, of course. So cold. <laughs> Should have brought me out in gloves. <laughs> Adds to the theme. Hypersphere 360, what a brilliant attraction that was. Let's we'll kind of break it down and talk all about it for you now. So it started off with an awesome pre-show, didn't it? Yeah, so we've got like this robot character and what he was gonna do, he was gonna take us along that journey through the ocean. Yeah, really like the storyline. Nice how they put a character in there to kind of tie the experience together. Then we made our way onto the ride system itself fascinating definitely one of the most unique dark ride systems i've ever seen dark ride slash flat ride built by intamin first of its kind of these dome theater attractions and that was really cool just walking in there you kind of had um, the half of the dome that you could see the ride system around the edge and then a screen in front of you that actually lowered down once the ride started and then you were in this full kind of dome sphere with all the media around it's not projections either it's actual screens and there's so much round you felt very immersed in it, didn't you, in there? You did, yeah. You felt quite open as well. The seats on there was fantastically comfortable, but you just felt so open with everything above you and then underneath you. And that's the thing, you couldn't even see like the arms of the ride system and it was spinning round, um, just a nice comfortable um, over the shoulder restraint, but yeah, not really touching the shoulder. It kind of felt more like a lap bar, really. If you've been on a lot of the new generation intervene drop towers, you kind of felt like that with the restraints. And uh, yeah, it was very comfortable. And then we spun round and it kind of went side to side. It was hard to tell how 
much were we going side to side because you couldn't really see the arms. You know, it was very well done, very unique attraction. The media on there itself um, and the storyline, I don't think was the best. I mean, the screen, well, the screen quality was really good, but just kind of the storyline after that was hard to follow, I thought. It was. I don't feel like the ride was running to its full potential yeah. with the storyline that was based on. I agree. And I think, you know, the ride system could maybe do a bit more if they wanted it to. It could spin a bit faster, go side to side. Yeah. It was quite slow, but it is more of an educational attraction. I'd love to see that go to another park and um, they can maybe do like a horror version of that. Uh, uh, you know, have the ride system spinning a bit more and tilting more. Um, it's certainly capable of it, especially with it having the over the shoulder restraints. Really, they felt like they weren't needed um, because, you know, all we did was a little bit of rocking side to side. Still, it's one of the most unique attractions I've ever done. Really enjoy getting on it. And yeah, I look forward to hopefully seeing another one of those come to another park in the future. Um, Cause yeah, the ride system, I feel like could be done so much more with. It's got a lot of potential that has. So there we go, we've experienced the rides that are on offer here at SeaWorld Abu Dhabi, but there's so much more than just rides to experience here. All of these amazing different areas that we're gonna be exploring, and we're both very excited to see them all. And we're gonna start off with Endless Ocean just over here. We've heard that this aquarium is massive, and yeah, it looks great from photos and videos that I've seen. So we're gonna start in there, and we'll make our way through all the different oceans and areas here in this wonderful indoor park. This park's got the best use of screens I've ever seen. Really good just to enhance the experience. To so make our way up the escalator and into the ocean. Oh. Yeah, it's quite a bit busy now than when we first came in. And then that's the thing, nobody really gets to the parks for opening over here. You know what we're like though, we like doing the full days. This gives you a good perspective. Worth pointing out the smells as well throughout here. Some lovely smell pods adding to the experience. Talking station nine. The glass is so clean and it's kind of got a curve on it. You can see it more here. So it feels like everything's a lot closer. Welcome to the observation deck. <laughs> wow. The size of that. You get a good idea on the scale with the people just having pictures down there. That is beautiful. And the music, it's very cinematic. And all the theming around, all the roofs, all the floors. There's a lot of restaurants and retail mixed throughout the park. That is beautiful. I like how you can view it on different levels too. Continuing on with the upper level just here, and yeah, we'll come back to that big glass panel in just a moment. This is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I like the little smiles. They just glide so majestic. I kind of feel like I'm walking around an underwater spaceship with all the designs. There's a bit like Rise the Resistance in here. Yeah, as with any aquarium, you got all the little fact boards as well. As we carry on around, more great theming. Look how long it is. Oh, this is the one that I've seen a lot of photos of. That is incredible. Oh, wow. I mean, that is ridiculous. <laughs> how tall is that panel? That's got to be like 100 foot tall. <laughs> Look at the people down there at the bottom. Yeah, that's like the ocean tank. This is quite something. God, oh, I've never seen anything like it. We've just been standing in here for a few minutes taking this all in. Amazing. Yeah, we've just seen a massive stingray swimming around in there, so I'm sure we'll see him when we get a little bit further around. Kind of feels like you're in an actual research station walking around here. Hidden rivers build habitats. Charlotte's looking at all this information. I like how interactive it is, like having the little interactives is great. I like the music as well. Seems like we're gradually meandering down. Oh, that's cool. That actually goes round the escalators. Look at this. This is the best aquarium I've ever seen. And we said that the other day in Dubai, didn't we? It's quite scary. 
that's that massive panel then over on the side. And here we are inside. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that's the escalators in that one there. And that big dome's around that side. Yeah, it's hard to get a perspective, isn't it? Like how, you know, how far it goes. <laughs> Where's that massive one that we saw? They've got a large amount of space in here, though. There was one that it was massive. It could be anywhere. It's all the corals, all the rocks, they've really created an amazing habitat. Let me just show you Charlotte in here just to give you the scale. Incredible. This is amazing. There's that massive one at the top. Never seen one like that before. Even like having these little balconies coming out and seeing all the sharks, all the stingrays. This is just so well done. You wouldn't think we're in a big building in the desert, would you? Wow. So this kind of leads back into that dome that we first walked into in this area. And we see this here on the side. Can't get over the size of this. So well done. And you got a nice cafe just down there with all the seating. What a place to have some food. Well, this is mesmerizing to walk around and look at this, an escalator with the tank built around it. It's so cool. I can see us. <laughs> Realise how deep this water is when you go down. Very deep. Shark. Yeah, very, very deep. It just keeps getting better and better, this does. Oh, it's very echoey in here, very echoey in here. Right? <laughs> I like how the music changes for the different sections too. This is probably the best view to actually see the whole tank right down here at the bottom. scale of this place but just all the theming how well it's been done through these different areas it's amazing it really is a fantastic experience coming here and seeing this just can't get over how many different areas was to walk around and this is all just in this one section I'll never see the sea life center the same again after seeing this. Into the caves now, and even all the walls, we've got fiber optics built into them. Yeah, it's how they've done all the corals and all the rocks. Feel that. You actually feel like you're underwater. Look at these, loads of them in here. He's just coming out the rocks. right at the bottom of that massive panel. I can't get over the size of it. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Quite emotional seeing it, it's the music as well. There 
there's that massive ray up there at the top that shows just how deep we are. Now we've just come up a set of stairs that brings us to this huge circle, like a big portal into the ocean. station, all the lights coming from there. Never seen anything like it. One of the best themed experiences in the world right now, this is. You, know, you come over here to the UAE and there's some amazing things to see in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, there really is. If you love theme parks and themed attractions, you've got to come here and see this stuff. It's on another level, it really is. This is where the big money is getting spent now on all of these different themed experiences. This is the one, this is the big stuff. And it's mesmerizing to see. Well, Endless Ocean was incredible. How did you find that? That completely blew me away. That was so special, so magical, I loved it. Just walking around and seeing the scale of all those tanks, it was amazing. Just so well done with all the music, all the theming around. One of the best themed experiences going. Actually made me quite emotional in there, you know. Yeah, that was so beautiful seeing that. I can't wait to see what else is happening. There's gonna be lots more to discover as we continue on here at the new SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. We're now making our way into Rocky Points just here. Starting off in here with the California sea lion and the harbour seal. You can see all these down here. Wow, I've got a big lighthouse in this section. Beautiful. You actually feel like you're outside with how this has been done. Wonderful spaces for these animals. Love all the buildings in here. I can see why they call it a rocky point just here now too. Wow, look at this. Beautiful lighthouse. I mean, this is how to do an animal exhibit, isn't it? So well done. Wow. Oh. And just down the steps, you've got this underwater viewing area too, where we can see them. Oh, there we go. I love how they just glide around. <laughs> I wish I could swim like that. Oh, <laughs> so sleek. What a space. I keep doing spins like <laughs> Spinning around. There he goes. And we just come up the lift, right up here to the top now of Rocky Point. Look at this theme in the bridge all the way over there, the mountains in the distance. Hard to tell you inside, it's just so well done. Just made our way out then of Rocky Point. Lovely, seeing the seals and sea lions. Was out on the upper level here of One Ocean. I just love how it's connected by this big hub. What do you think to that area? Oh, that was quite nice in there. The theme in there was excellent. I liked the bridge and the lighthouse. I thought they both were fantastic. Let's continue it on into our next section. And this one's just underneath where we are now. Time to get a bit chilly then as we make our way now to the polar ocean. Yeah, we've got the Arctic through here to go and see. I like how all the rocks change around this area too, depending on the area that you're going into. Check out the polar ocean, it's gonna be cold. This is where we came earlier to go on that awesome dark ride. Love how they've made all this look like the snow and ice. They're just taking it over into another huge atrium. The Abu Dhabi Ocean, that's the main entrance area where we came in, so you can just come straight into here. And you've got these different sections. That's a restaurant that looks out over the penguins by the looks of it. And we've got the Arctic off to the right, 
and Antarctica straight ahead, so we'll go in here first. It's like, look at this, even, this has got spinning media all the way around, and the projectors are really well hidden in the side. It is cold in here though, <laughs> really cold. Freezing in here, we just come through the turning door. <laughs> what a space though for the penguins. Oh, it's gonna feel warm in the other bit compared to this. There's the lovely penguins. I mean, this is so well done, like with the false ceiling and the sky up there. What a place for them. Hello there, little man. You're on Theme Park Worldwide. <laughs> I do love penguins. This is probably the best penguin exhibit I've seen. Charlotte's got frost growing off her nose. <laughs> oh, look at him running over there. I mean, what a space for them in here. And they're nice and close to photos here too. Oh, it's a little bit warmer in this bit. <laughs> Where you can see the penguins underwater. This has been so well done. <laughs> Penguin observation module. Let's go out of this bit. Charlotte's just taking a photo of someone so I can escape the cold just here. Charlotte's doing a bit of a photo shoot for someone. <laughs> Rather than me. <laughs> oh, that's better. And we just come downstairs. Here's Charlotte, the photographer. That was so cold. Though. I wanted to get out, and then people wanted photos, so I wanted to send photos, but I ran out like this. <laughs> Normally, I'd be happy to. I was so cold. I'm glad they asked you. <laughs> Here's all the different gear that we haven't got. I'm wearing shorts. This is telling you what you should be wearing in that temperatures. Obviously it's got to be cold in there though for the animals. We've also got animal experts that you can chat with and we're lucky enough to have one of those with us today just over here. Hello there, nice to see you. Oh, just bear with me, I've just got an incoming transmission from Roberto. Seems to have that. Roberto. Oh, Roberto, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, he's just going to give us a talk. Photographed animals here for me. <laughs> oh, you got to have a laugh. I love how all this has been done. Now yeah, we're underwater. With the penguins now, there they are. Another huge window looking in at the penguin area. Yeah, you don't realise how deep it is in there until you come down to this section. Oh, the starfish at the bottom. Oh yeah. So you've got another restaurant just down there called The Catch. There's a play area on the left hand side. This is quite nice. And lots of shops around too. So we continued on walking around and made our way into the next section. Yeah, this is where we came on that ride earlier on. That spun us round in the big screen, which was very good. I did enjoy that. Well, the otters, oh, they just had a kiss there. Oh, riding on each other's back. More nice rock work. All the trees around, and yeah, this area is being enhanced according to the sign. Normally, you'd have the Pacific walrus in there. Yeah, the area is all blocked off, so I don't think there's going to be loads to see in this section. Hopefully, this will be back soon. Here on the left hand side, yeah, not much to see really in this area. Still, some great theming around. Normally, you can actually hold an otter, can't you, around here? Oh, the otter's hand, I was really excited, but it's all blocked up. Oh, <laughs> hopefully, next time we come, you'll be able to do that experience. Still get to enjoy all these nice buildings around here, though. What are these? I'm not too sure what these are. Dogs? Oh, don't say that. I'm not a fan of dogs. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. They're like wolves, aren't they? Quite tame though, because there's people in there with them. Wow. In the feed. It's like part fox, part dog. They're all right. They are. Does it say what they are? Just here. It says specific. <laughs> it's definitely not walrus. No. What does it say? No, 
it doesn't, does it? I think the signage could be improved in some areas we've been saying around here. They're nice these, but yeah, there's no, I can tell you what they are. So that's Antarctica and also the Arctic. Yeah, another nice area to look around here at this wonderful park. Now there is an animal hospital on the lower level, so we're just gonna go and check that out now. Now a huge part of what SeaWorld does around the world is of course looking after animals and doing research into them. And yeah, they've got this brilliant facility just here, which is pretty spectacular to see. Like, look at all this, and yeah, we're not looking at theming here. This is the real thing, you know, the actual hospital. And if they were doing anything, I imagine they'd close this area off. Look, it's got the walrus on there. How nice is this, though? This is really nice. Great facility. All the scanners down here, and beds, all the equipment. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot to see. All down here, a lot of research. Now we yet to actually see the dolphins and they've got a massive area upstairs. Yeah, there's also another huge pool just down here too. This is space for observation and research. Yeah, I'd imagine when they're having the checks done, they'll bring them down here. place this is and we've still got the Abu Dhabi Ocean where we came in to have more of an explore round so we'll probably do that on our way out later on. We've also got the tropical ocean to check out just over here yeah we briefly walked through here down to Manta earlier on and this is another massive area you've got like a big bird exhibit to see down here too. Nice mosaic just there on the wall. And there, this is another restaurant that they've got just here. Yeah, again, you can get more of your local foods or you can get like, all your Western favorites as well. Hot dogs, chicken tenders, pizzas, salads, and all of that. This is a great space because you've got all the natural light coming in from the side. That's the thing with these indoor parks. Sometimes they'd be closed in a little bit too much. Whereas this, it's nice because you're getting that natural light coming in from the side. Pretzels just over there too. I like pretzels. This is a nice building. I like this a lot. I do love the flamingos just here. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, look at the sloth just over here. Oh, I love sloths. No, so sloths like to keep their ears nice and in, but they do have ears similar to ours. They've got a funnel. And they like to keep them hidden underneath the fur right here so that they're not just poking out. Oh, I love seeing the sloth just there. It was really nice. And yeah, this area is huge. You've got the big pool just there and the dolphins are in that area. Oh, and this is lovely with the sunshine coming in through the windows just over there. Oh, this big tree. Let's go look down this area. A bit like the Tree of Life from Animal Kingdom. And here you can actually walk down and through all of this section. Cafe down there. Ah, the rainforest. Another beautiful tree over there. This is a really nice area. And we can see over here at the waterfront. I believe the cafe downstairs has got a glass panel that looks ah, into this. That makes sense. Oh, there we go. The dolphins are over there. And they've also got the amphitheatre seating just up there where they do the dolphin wow. presentation. So yeah, they've got all this space here and then obviously that other pool that we saw earlier on too. It's like Charlotte mentioned, you've actually got a restaurant down here looking out over the dolphins. Another huge ocean tunnel to walk through. Can we see the dolphins? Oh, we've got a diver over here. Should we see if we can get a wave? Hello, hey! <laughs> That's quite a few of them. Yeah, there is. Looks like they're doing some cleaning down in here. I mean, the whole place is very pristine, really well looked after. Oh, you see all the little fish swimming down here too. 
We've got some games down here. What am I expecting to see a game store? Jelly Drift. Oh, that's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Why well, was I just not expecting to see a game stall? So we kind of walked out of that underwater viewing area into this. Oh, the Shipwreck Cove, big kids' play area. And that's brought us out right by the one and only Manto. Hey, so we may as well make the most of it and get some more re rides in on here. Middle of the afternoon now, should have warmed up nicely. So let's go and get some more rides on Manto, that intimate launch coaster here at SeaWorld, Yas Island. <laughs> three rides there on Manta. That coaster just blew me away today. I just wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, and it's really an excellent coaster. Along with that, the three launches on there are all really good. You've also got the excellent cutback element, the heartline roll, and it's all them rocks and tunnels around that really add to it. It's just an excellent ride, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, it's a fantastic coaster. Really enjoy that, and it's so re-rideable. It does everything that you want from a coaster, all packed in, and it's not even that high at all. Like, that could fit into so many Park to have issues with, like planning permission back home. It's a long ride, it's action packed, it's so comfortable. The amount of airtime on there, it was the near misses are ridiculous. Like, I've got my arms up, you really feel like you're just going to touch all the rocks. It's an excellent coaster. You know, that cutback, which kind of acts as a turnaround section, is so good. It kind of throws you out the train. Oh, but it is so good. I'll be having many more rides on there before the end of the day. That's Manta. And here's all the rays just here. Oh, aren't they lovely? Oh, blown away by that ride, what a great experience. And then yeah, we're gonna head through the bird area now, just round here. So we've got the nice parrots just over here. There they are, hello. Is that him saying hello? <laughs> and also we can go in with the birds just round the corner, so we're gonna have a look. Look at the size of him, he's a big boy. And we're here now in with the birds. We've got this lovely big area with all sorts of different birds to see. He nearly pooed on me. <laughs> I heard it splatter down. Oh, and there's the dolphins. Oh, wow. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh, these are wonderful, aren't they, all the dolphins? And we're just on the upper level here now. Look at all the wonderful birds. Flying through the trees. Charlotte loves birds, don't you? I get scared, isn't it? <laughs> what, in case they poo on you? You hear the glitter platter of the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely area, though, aren't they? I've never seen so many varieties of birds. There's a lot. Wow, look at the beaks on them. Look at the beaks on them. Some really nice photos of us with the birds around here. <laughs> what a nice area. Well, we've just seen the wonderful birds there, and we've had a good look all around SeaWorld Abu Dhabi, and we're blown away by this place. It is amazing. We're going to take some time now walking back through some of the exhibits, do some more rewrites, and then we're going to be seeing the dolphin presentation and the big kind of finale show that they do in One Ocean as well. So we'll see you a little bit later on. Get together. <laughs> Absolutely amazing time here. It's been wonderful discovering this park and we've just done some more re-rides and also enjoying some more of the wonderful animal exhibits here too. We've just been through the big aquarium again and taking it all in. We're now going to learn more about the dolphins with the presentation over in the amphitheatre. So yeah, I'll put in a little bit of footage for you over the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, did we, Charlotte, with the it dolphins? Was very close to getting wet, but it was okay. <laughs> really nice presentation, and it had a storyline, and the theatre was beautiful there. And yeah, the dolphins have got a really nice area, which is fantastic. And now we've made our way back here to the central hub of the park to come and see one epic ocean. So yeah, this is a show that combines the screens, the lighting, and I believe there's even drones in this show as well, right here in the center of the park. So we'll put in some footage and that will bring us towards the end of our visits. We'll just get a couple of re-rides on Manta after. Give us about 20 minutes to maybe get two or three rides on Manta, depending on the operations, <laughs> before we end our vlog here to this park. What a day. That was awesome. I really enjoyed all the visuals, the music, the lighting, and the drones as well. That was an amazing show. It was quite touching to see, actually. It with was. All the music and the drones, that was really nice. And how cool is it with the helium balloons with the drones attached? I like the turtle because his arms was flopping <laughs> up and down, which was really cute. Oh, we've just had a couple more rides down there on Manta to end our day. And yeah, we're back here now at the exit to the park. Of course, all the ocean here. 
surrounding Abu Dhabi. And yeah, it's gone to like night mode around here now. Really relaxing. So we make our way through the gift shop to exit the park. What a great day. What a fantastic park. And making our way through the exit gift shop. Let's have a little look at some of the merchandise or your SeaWorld branded items. Bags, loads of plushies. These are quite nice just over here, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. Just on there. Yeah, quite good with the colour scheme. Got caps and the size of this shop is huge. Dolphin plushies just down there. Oh, what a selection of caps. And yeah, it's kind of like a market how this is set up in here. All the little stalls and lots of merchandise. Yeah, we're going to make our way out of the park. to the end of our day here at SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. Coming to experience this park for the first time has been an incredible experience, hasn't it, Charlotte? I have enjoyed it so much. It has been breathtaking seeing it. With it being a fully indoor SeaWorld park, other than Manta, of course, we didn't know how it was going to be. Something completely different on what they've done with screens, projections and media throughout all the different areas is fantastic. The size of the rooms is incredible and all the theming throughout really does make it feel like you are actually outside something that's not really possible um, of course due to the high temperatures here uh, if it hadn't been done indoors it wouldn't have been done at all so they did an amazing job with that and creating amazing exhibits for all the animals didn't they yeah like the theming in there is fantastic everything is so well themed in there which is brilliant to see what we also really enjoyed of course um, was the big aquarium oh. that is fantastic going into there the size of them panels looking into it uh, it's the best aquarium I've ever seen in my life and I think it'll take some time for anything to top that to be honest I could have sat there for hours and hours just watching that. It was beautiful. And then, of course, the highlight for me of this park is here just behind us, Manta. Now, I knew this was going to be a good ride because Intamin built some amazing coasters. Some of the best coasters out there in the world are Intamin, especially these past kind of five years or so. We've really seen them do some amazing designs. And this ride is incredible. It's a top 10 coaster, and I was not expecting that today. What a fantastic <laughs> ride, and it is so re-rideable. The airtime on there is brilliant. The length of the coaster is fantastic. Brilliant. And it's all the theming around it. It's the rocks, like the one you can see here. There's like a shipwreck that you go through. Uh, the fact that you've got launches undercover. Obviously, they've done that because of the temperature, but it adds to the ride experience. And it's so snappy, like mm -hmm. the transitions on there. It's a brilliant coaster. And yeah, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it would be that good. So that's really took me by surprise. Uh, I think the family area is great. Of course, we didn't see it to its full potential with the coaster being closed there. Uh, but yeah, I did enjoy that. And also, uh, the, of course, the Intamin spinning ride that we did. Um, was interesting i really enjoyed that great ride system wasn't it it was very unique but it wasn't used to its full potential yeah i look forward to seeing another one of those at some point hopefully in the future what a beautiful park i would definitely recommend a visit it's a stunning place it, it is. really is i think they need to improve a little bit on the operations from what we've seen today um in general on the rides however luckily it's not been too busy so it hasn't mattered too much but yeah i think they need to improve that and also going forward i think another standout ride would be great whether that's a coaster or possibly like a trackless dark ride or something like that. Uh, it was lacking kind of another big standout ride in my opinion. What do you think? Hopefully something new will come in the future, but like Sean said, a dark ride would go down so well. I think that would be a great move for them going forwards. But still, it's been amazing and we've got another new park for us tomorrow. Uh, this one's actually been open for six years, um, but this opened literally just after the last time I was here. So I'm excited for it. It's Warner Brothers here in Abu Dhabi and that's coming up next here on Yaz Island. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. See you tomorrow.